Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a split design like this one in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, we're in Illustrator now, and I've got a design that I want to make into a split design. Um, and this is actually something that's pretty easy to do, but there are a few steps involved. So this design is made up of strokes. We've got a stroke and a fill on this part of the design. Then we have uh, an outline that has been expanded. And then we have a stroke here, uh, almost one point, that is a stem. A fill only for the leaf, but then some small strokes inside here. So the first step is to make a copy of this and just put it outside the artboard. So this is just in case we want to edit something later, we'll still have access to the strokes or the text if you have any. So I'm gonna get on my selection tool and I'm just going to select this whole artwork. I'm gonna hold option and then I'm going to click and drag off to the side of the artboard. So now we have our copy over here with editable strokes. The second step is to select everything in the artwork and expand it. So to do that, I'm going to get my selection tool and just draw a box around the whole artwork. Then we'll come up here to object and we'll go to expand appearance. I'll hit Z on my keyboard and then draw a box around. You can see that these strokes have expanded. These are not expanded all the way out to the edge yet, but a lot of the other things have expanded already. So that's a good thing, but now we need to expand even further. So I'm going to come up to object and then just do expand. We'll do fill and stroke and say, okay. So now everything in here is expanded. When we zoom in closely, you can see a lot of different paths going on and that's just fine. We're going to kind of combine them here in a moment. I'm going to hit command minus to zoom out. And then I'm going to unite all of these colors separately. So to do that, um, I need to hide this one over here because I want to select all of the same colors and it uses a lot of the same colors, obviously, as the one in our main, uh, in our main artwork. So I'm gonna select that and just hit Command-3 or Control-3 on a PC to hide it. Now, it's still there, but um, it's just hidden. So now we can use the Pathfinder to divide everything. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to get my selection tool. And then I'm going to select everything. Now I'll come over here to my Pathfinder. If you can't find this, just go to Window and then Pathfinder. And then we'll come down here to Divide, which is on the lower level and it's the first one. So we'll hit that. And now what that's done is made a piece of everything that's overlapping. So this was overlapping here and now it's its own little separate piece. I'm going to undo with command Z. Now I'm going to select a piece with my group selection tool, which is right over here. Um, the reason I'm using that, if I use the selection tool, it will grab everything, but I just want one little piece. So I've selected this outer piece, the red. And now I'll go to select, same, fill color. Now I have all of the red things. And I'm gonna come over here to the Pathfinder and go to Unite, which is the first one on the first row. Okay, so that is done. We've got all the red as one shape. So I'm gonna Command-3 to hide this. And then we'll come up here. I'm gonna click on one little piece of the brown with my Group Selection tool. Then we'll do the same thing, select, same, fill color. And then we'll come down to the Pathfinder and unite them. And hide with Command-3 or Control-3 on a PC. I'll select part of the green. Then I'll come up here to select, same, fill color. So now I've got all the green pieces and I'll come down here to the Pathfinder and unite those and then hide them. I'm gonna zoom out by hitting Command-. minus. And sometimes there are pieces here that you can't see. So to, so to see those, just hit Command Y. Oh, yep, we've got a lot. Or Control Y on the PC. So these have no fill and no stroke, and that's why you can't see them. So I'm going to use my group selection tool to just draw a box around all these pieces and delete them. 
Um, then you can hit Control Y or Command Y to get back to your regular view. Now we can hit Option Command 3 to unhide. You can also go to Object, Show All. And this brings everything back that was hidden. So now you can see the difference between your combined graphic and your original graphic. Okay, so now we can start splitting this image. So to do that, all you have to do is hit M on your keyboard to get to your rectangle tool. And now we'll just draw a box around about halfway down. Maybe we'll move it down a little bit. I'm just using shift and my arrow keys to move that around. And I'm just going to fill this with black. It doesn't really matter. Um, I actually had my stroke in front, so it made it a stroke instead, but you can just switch that by hitting shift X on your keyboard. Okay, so we've got our split area here. Now I'm going to copy this with command C and then command B to send it to the back or control B on a PC. So now I have two black rectangles, one right on top of the other but I have the one behind selected. So I'm going to use the little handles and hold option and just pull that up a little bit. And now I want to get my fill in front over here and then I'll hit I for my eyedropper and change that to red. So eventually I want to connect the red to this part and then get rid of the black part. But to do that, we have to kind of combine them. So I'm going to get my selection tool and just draw a box around these parts down here. Now I see I've selected the green and the brown and I don't really want that. So first I'm going to click on the apple and I'll just ungroup it with shift command G. Let's see. Okay. Now we have the apple by itself. If you need to ungroup further, you can just keep hitting shift command G or shift control G on a PC to ungroup everything. Okay. So we've got just our apple and these two rectangles and I'm going to come down here to the pathfinder and divide those. Okay. So now we can just do what we did before. I'm going to use my selection tool to select this. Um, another way you could do this is just have this in a separate file. So you don't have to keep worrying about it, uh, getting selected when you're trying to work with your graphic. So that's another option too. But anyway, I'm going to hide this with command three. And now I'm going to select all of these things here that we want to work with. I'll come down here to the pathfinder and divide them. Okay. So now I just want to select the black things. Now, before we clicked on this with our group selection tool and came up here to select same fill color, but another way to do this is to hit Y on your keyboard and that will bring you to the magic wand tool that will select a lot of different shades of black. So if you have other shades of black that you don't want selected, it might not work for you, but it will get all of the black in one click. So you just click on one piece and it will get all of that plus some other dark gray things. So you have to be careful about that. Okay. And let's just delete that. And now let's come up here and click the red and select that. So now it's got this red bar. It's got the red of the apple. And now we can come down here to the pathfinder and unite those. Okay. And we're almost there. So now we can do command Y or control Y on a PC to really take a look at this apple and make sure there are no weird little pieces that we don't want in the design. A good example are these little tiny pieces here. I'm just going to select those with my group selection tool and delete those. And then down here, we have a little bit of a problem because it didn't line up exactly. I remember moving it up and that's why it didn't connect. So let's just fix this real quick. I'm going to hit P on my keyboard and I'm going to draw a little line right along this edge. All right. Now we've got a fill on this. So I'm going to hit shift X to get just a stroke. And let's see if it overlaps everything. I'm going to zoom in here. Looks like we don't quite have it here. So I'll move this up a little bit. Now I realize this is kind of getting in the weeds. Um, it can be a little complicated, but basically I just want the red to connect here. So I made a little piece to connect them. So this is just a stroke right now. So I'm going to expand it with object expand 
and we want the fill and the stroke, and we'll say OK. So now when we hit Command Y or Control Y on a PC, oh, I think there's some little extra pieces in here. So I'm going to get the magic wand tool again, click the red, and hide it. Then we'll Command Y. OK, we still got some pieces in here that we need to delete. So I'm going to just click on this, which will get everything with no fill and no stroke, and delete it. And now we'll unhide with Option Command 3 or Alt Control 3 on a PC. And that's it. Now you have a split design that you can add text to or whatever you want to do with it. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.